What's going on guys today? I'm back. My name is Cage and as you guys know, I'm kind of the croc king of YouTube. So about a year ago, I uploaded a video called 25 Reasons Crocs are the Best Shoe in the World and that video blew up. That's by far my most popular video on my channel. And a lot of you guys were asking me how I clean my crocs. So I thought today I'd make a video showing you guys how I clean my crocs. More specifically, my white fluffy ones because as you see, there's a lot of pins on here and they're fluffy. So, you know, it's kind of hard to clean inside. As you guys see, the front is a little bit dirty. I try to keep them pretty clean. Like I don't wear these unless I know I'm going somewhere that's going to keep them relatively clean. And as you guys can see the bottom's a little dirty and they could just use a good clean. The good thing about the fluffy crocs is they don't have holes in the side and the holes on the top don't actually go all the way through because they have the fluff layered. So that makes your life a little easier. So the first thing you gotta do before you clean your crocs is obviously take the pins out because you can't be washing them around the pins. You wanna get underneath where the pins actually are. As you guys can see in this pair of crocs I have quite a lot of pins and I don't want to forget the order that I put them in so I'm gonna take a picture of my phone so I can look back on it and I can put them back in the exact order that I want them. Okay, so to take the pins out, it's really quite simple. You just gotta just gotta get under them and then pull them through the holes and they should come out pretty easily. What might also help is putting one hand in the shoe and kind of pushing up where that pin is. I'm getting a call, it's Taylor. What's up, Taylor? Okay, I'm, I've already started, but you can come join. Okay, bye. All right, looks like Taylor's gonna be coming to join us. But anyway, like I was saying, if you use one hand to kind of push outwards, then it makes it easier to pop out. And you can just lie them aside for now. You wanna show off your new Crocs you got, Taylor? Yes. Yeah, so we just went to the croc store yesterday and Taylor got some nice... <laughs> she got some nice fuzzy purple crocs and she got a couple pins, got a B, and then a camera with the rainbow because she's my filmer for the most part. All right, so here we go, got all the pins out now and as you guys can see, they uncovered a lot of dirt that was hidden underneath, so definitely wanna get all that cleaned. This literally looks like an entirely new pair of crocs, like this doesn't even look like mine anymore. Definitely don't wanna be losing those. All right guys, so I got a little container full of baking soda and a little container full of water and I've got some paper towels here. I'm pretty sure you guys can guess where this is going. So basically all I'm gonna do is dip the paper towel into the water and then dip it into the baking soda. Just get a little bit on there. And then I'm going to rub it on the outside of the crocs trying to get all that brown dirt off. With these furry crocs, you wanna try to avoid the holes cause you don't want like bits of paper towel falling in the hole. Because of the layer of fur in there, you're not really gonna be able to get that out. So just try to be careful, kind of go around it. And then as you can see, just from doing this little corner, it's, it's yeah, it's pretty dirty. The kids next door are singing Savage Love while they're jumping on the trampoline. If that's not a mood, I literally don't know what is. All right guys, so I just finished cleaning one croc and I didn't bother doing the bottom because I'm just gonna wear it again and get it dirty. So this is the before and after. After. It's hard to tell on camera, but this is the before and it's pretty dirty as you can see I don't know how well it's picking up the dirt on camera But this one is a lot cleaner that only took me a couple minutes and look at the huge difference it made All right, so really quick I'm going to work on the second croc and then I'm going to work on cleaning the inside of them Then I'll bring you guys back where we can put all the pins back and I think we might even need to clean the pins because behind them A little bit of dust behind them. So I might need to do that as well. But yeah, I'll see you guys in a second All right, so Louis come out to join us now Louis Hey Hey buddy, what's up? So anyway, I got both the Crocs clean now. They're looking super white and nice and bright and clean and beautiful. It's enough to make a grown man cry. Your Crocs are super clean because you literally just got them and I was kind of jealous so I had to make them look as cool as yours. But they're not as cool as mine. All right, so I need to look back at the picture really quick and figure out how to arrange my gibbets. And now looking back at this picture and looking at these Crocs in person, this is a huge difference. Like I didn't even realize how dirty they were until looking at the before and after, so. Yeah, I'm very glad I did this. And now I have like five other pairs of Crocs that I need to clean too after this. That's the good thing about having Crocs though. It doesn't take eight years to clean them. It literally takes a few minutes and you can get them clean. So one more reason, Crocs are the best shoe in the world. All right, so really quick, before I put these gibbets back on, I'm going to just dump them in some water and then dry them off because they're a little dusty and blowing them off wasn't good enough. Normally blowing something is good enough, but um, this, in this case, it did not work. <laughs> We got Hermione all clean. It's focusing on my face. Focus on Hermione's face. Bless you, Louie. All right, guys, so I just finished putting all the gibbets back on my Crocs, and they look so good. Guys, look at how white and clean these are. The gibbets were actually pretty dirty. I don't know if you can see. This is the water that I rinsed them out in, and yeah, they're quite dirty. All right, so this is actually after I filmed the entire video, but I just wanted to throw this in there. I kind of forgot about this, but there's this thing called Croc Shine, and you can buy it at the Croc store or probably online, but it's like $6, and yeah, thanks, Taylor. <laughs> you just pull this thing out, and it's like a little sponge and you can clean the crocs. So basically you just take this and like rub along the crocs and then this doesn't like get dirt off, but it like shines it up and like makes it brighter. Kind of gets all the imperfections out. All right, so it's super easy to use. You don't want to overuse this. You don't want to like rub it on there a lot because then that's just gonna, I don't know if it'll ruin it, but it's probably not good for it. So I just want to give it like, just get as much 
of the surface area as you can. It basically just enhances the material because Crocs is made of like some super special rubber that like molds to your foot and it's like that's why they're so amazing by the way. This basically just restores it and for $6 there's really no reason not to get it. But yeah, back to the video. Yeah, these are looking really nice. I love how these turned out and uh, yeah, like I said, I'm not going to worry about the bottom because I'm going to wear these right away and they're just going to get dirty again. Alright, so as you guys can see the inside is a little dirty and apparently there's still a tag on there I haven't gotten off. And on that side too. A little bit dusty so I'm going to get a vacuum really quick and try to clean them out as best I can. Yeah, Louis's pretty scared of the vacuum. Sorry, bud. I didn't mean to. All right, guys, I'm stepping into my newly clean Crocs. Ooh, it feels good. All right, so my camera is flashing red. So we're gonna end this video right here, but hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully I taught you how to clean your crock. It's super simple, just took me a few minutes. Get some baking soda and some water, and it's really that simple. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Taylor, can I end the video? No. You don't own me. He looks high as <laughs> <laughs>